Sarah Utin, the woman who took on the might of the vast Indian Ocean. The 4,000-mile solo row from Australia to Mauritius earned her a place three times over in the record books. But that was then. Now Sarah has her sights set on a much bigger prize. This time, she's literally taking on the world. Let's go, Sarah. Pull, pull, pull. Keep working, keep working. Drive all the way, all the way. Go, 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 go. So my next challenge is around the world by human power. I'll be rowing, cycling and kayaking from London right around the world back to London. And that will take you how long? Two and a half years to get round. Sarah plans to kayak to France, cycle 8,000 miles through Europe to Russia, then cycle and kayak to Japan, then a daunting row across the North Pacific to Canada. From there, she'll cycle 3,000 miles to New England, row the North Atlantic back to British soil, and finally cycle back to the start. Let's go, let's go. The 25-year-old from Oakham in Rutland is now in boot camp training hard to make sure she's fit enough to complete the 20,000 mile expedition. It's challenging I guess in that there's two ocean rows, two of the toughest bits of ocean in the world, interspersed with thousands of miles of cycling and it's continuous, I'm not going to go home. So overall I'd say it's, it's going to be meaty. Yeah. You had complete self-belief that you could do the Indian Ocean. Do you have that self-belief on this expedition? Absolutely. I'm convinced that I've got the best chance of making it happen, and that's exciting. Sarah sets off on April Fool's Day. Some would say that could be fitting, given the enormity of the challenge. But then plenty of people called her crazy when she set off from Oz in a little rowing boat. And look how that turned out. Sarah Teal, East Midlands Today.